Here with WSU rowing alumni, Nicole Hare and Lisa Romain, you both are on the way to Tokyo right now for the 2021 Olympics. Just uh, how exciting of a time is that? And just kind of talk about the, the travel experience you guys have had today and just kind of how exciting it is to go to a, another Olympic Games. Um, it's, it's been kind of a crazy couple of days to get ready because we haven't traveled in so long. So trying to like pack everything and get organized. And then I was like moving out of my house at the same time. So it's been a crazy couple of days, but uh, yeah, I'm excited it's finally here. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, in addition to all the training that we're still doing and all those like extra little things. And I never uh, realized how a second nature packing was until this trip. I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> it's only been like a year and a half or something since our last trip. But it, um, yeah, it was, it was uh, definitely a busy experience the last few days. And now we're super excited just to get to Tokyo, get to work, and then um, – show the world what we've been doing during COVID. How has this this time been different than the last time or your guys' first time training for the Olympics and making that team for Canada? I think different in the sense of, like, you're, you know what you're getting yourself into, you know what the next four years look like, you know what ended up being five years, but, you know, it's kind of, it's been a better idea of the whole picture as opposed to just kind of going into it blindly, so you know what you want to get out of it and what your goals are, I guess, going into it. So I think in terms of like training on a daily basis and like all of that stuff, there's a little bit more intensity, I feel like, um, when you've already done it because you, you kind of know what you want uh, and you wouldn't be there if you didn't know what you wanted. I went into it being like, I want to go into this winning medal. That's 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 my goal. And, and if I didn't feel like we weren't capable of that, I don't know if I would have been able to commit that kind of commitment for that many years without that like drive to do it, so. Yeah, absolutely. I'm on the same exact page as Lisa with that. Um, there's a huge sense of purpose right now. And, and it's been five years. It's very special uh, with it with COVID. Um, it, it's an interesting game because we don't have the lead up of consistent racing. Obviously, Canada hasn't competed in the World Cup, so we don't know exactly how we stack up but like a lot of countries haven't competed so it it's um just an interesting way to approach um the olympic games and i think that's special and uh i'm just excited to see all the cards that every country has to play there's two cougs on the, the canadian olympic team and just how, how big is that for you two to have that camaraderie? And then also with Ivy as well being in the program, you know, all three of you are Cougs. How, how great is it to have that camaraderie, that WSU bond between the three of you just inside the Canadian rowing program? I think it's, it's great. I mean, Jane does a great job of uh, trying to find athletes up here in Canada and then also really supporting the Canadian program to allow those athletes to go back and then still be a part of like the Canadian, everything we do. So um, under 23 is like, team camps all about like she did it when I was there at school she did it for Nicole and, and she definitely did it for Ivy and Ivy's been a huge part of our program um it's uh, sad that she doesn't get to travel but uh she has very much been a part of the program this entire time uh especially this last year she's she's filled in so much and she's put her heart and soul into this program so yeah, yeah. we've been in uh, a few lineups where there's the three of us and then mm -hmm. some other person and, and we call it the coop score <laughs> yeah. and lots of training pieces and yeah. that four and it's been incredible i mean we just like have a little um bit more of a bond with people that have gone to the same school as you and i did one year at washington state with ivy uh we're on the team at the same time and just to be her teammate there and then come up and uh have her be our teammate too here in Canada. It's it's been amazing. She's an awesome, awesome girl. You both have rode under Jane. Uh, she's been here for quite quite a few years now. Has really established herself as a linchpin of this program. You know what what is it about just maybe her coaching styles or techniques that you picked up on W at, at, while you were at WSU that really helped you guys at the Olympic stage or the international stage moving forward with your career. For me, it was great. Like Jane opened up an opportunity that I didn't know I was capable of, and then from that, I was kind of like that team camarader camaraderie sorry yeah. <laughs> is like so big because once you get to this level like you have to have that and like 
before that, I never really had it. So coming to Washington State, I got to like learn all about that and what it was like to be a team player. Um, and I think all those aspects of going to Washington State and being under Jane and her program were just, like are super beneficial to like you moving forward. And if this is where people want to go, like you can do it, and it'll give you the tools, like kind of the tools in the bank to like get you started on your way. Yeah. I think Jane's big on enjoying the process. Like every place that we traveled, she made sure that we were doing something in that community, um, <laughs> often an arts museum or something like that. And I think that she really promoted uh, the team spirit and just having fun with it. Um, rowing is a huge part of the our, our journey through university, but it's not all of it. And she made sure that every person on the team was enjoying all the time that they had with the team. And, and that's a big, a big thing for life and also works out to be a good thing for performance too. What did you guys think about just the team's performance this year? And just kind of, they went through a unique year with COVID. They had some, they started the year a little bit earlier, but they also, but they were able to get back to the championships. So just kind of, uh, were you able to follow? Were you able to uh, kind of follow along while you guys were training as well? Yeah, I, I, I did my best to kind of keep, Tabs on. I always do though. I, I mean, and then also like when you've got people that you know amongst the team, like when I was there, it just it, it inspires even me to keep more tabs on it and keep up with Jane. And during COVID, I did a couple of chats with like the girls when everyone had kind of gone back home. But I mean, it's been a hard year for everyone. So like I definitely give them the credit for coming back and just like pushing through and working through all this COVID restrictions. Like it's not, it hasn't been easy. And so for them to go out there and like, actually make something of themselves this year I think is really awesome and yeah yeah I second that I I think that it's incredible that this is the year that they have come back um through COVID and through it all I have talked more times with Jane and uh, I've also followed the progress of the team and who's in what boats and how it's how it's progressing and I think that yeah the the four coming to each place was absolutely incredible. Um, and I, I think that the girls have so much to be proud of uh, for the way that they stuck it out this year. It sounded like the team really bonded more than they ever have through COVID. And, and sometimes that's what hard days uh, do to a team. Like they actually bring it closer. And I'm, I'm glad that Washington State uh, could do that. They rallied. <laughs> yeah. Final questions here. Uh, just what's it mean to both of you to be able to to represent your country at the Olympics and WSU? Oh, man. I feel like it was really exciting the last time I did it, and I think it's even more exciting now. And I, I mean, I, I got inducted into the Hall of Fame last year, and that was, like, super exciting. I loved every second of it. I had so much fun. Actually, I guess it would have been two years now. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. two years. Two years ago. Late time flies um it's just so it's such an honor like I I always try to wear my hoop gear whenever I can and always keeps us suited up which is great uh, we try to support them as much as possible from far and I hope to do it more now that who knows what future I'll bring but Nicole is going to be there next next year so that's good so I can go down and visit but it definitely means a lot like I I've loved every second of it and I, I'll keep it going as long as I can do whatever I can to help the team out and yeah. yeah, I'm big on uh, supporting the people and things that support you, and, and I think that mm -hmm. just representing our country and of representing the university that we went to is like right as as far forward with that as I can possibly think. Like it's it's incredible, um, and yeah. Canada has done so much for us and Washington State has done so much for us. I view it as an absolute honor to go race uh, knowing that I have that support and that now I'm showing um, the support back. Yeah. And just kind of a, a wrap up here is, is what advice would you give to some current WSU rowers to help them maybe reach the international Olympic stage one day? I would say just keep having fun with it. Keep your goals on your mind so you always are making the right decisions and then just enjoy the process. Yeah, like you never know. You never know where things are going to take you. So I think like for me, especially like 
you know, I never had the biggest or I wasn't the best rower in the team. You know, I just like put my foot down and just like worked hard and things started to happen. And I think that's that's the biggest thing. Like the harder you work, the more success you can get. Like running's definitely one of those sports like you work really hard and get really fit, like the future is yours. Like there's no holding you back. And so I think uh, yeah, I think what I would say is just like if this is what you want, then do it. Yeah. Don't think twice about it. Because, like, there's no one stopping you from, like, getting super fit and being good enough or getting better technique. Or Those are all things that are capable. And, like, we have good resources. Like, there's good outside resources. But I've always told Jane, like, if anyone wants help or anything, like, even my email, like, email me. So I just, yeah, I think stay positive and go for it. Go for it. Why not?